Hey you two, it's just the American Samurai coming to you almost live once again from Small Town USA. Here to talk about another DVD release for WWE. That is the great greatest pay-per-view matches of WCW, hosted by the five-time, five-time WCW World Champion, the one and only WWE Hall of Famer, Booker T. Hey, I frankly, when this came out, I was afraid they'd focus too much on the victory reviews. I'm going to say it's not exactly true. There are quite a few matches here from Stargate, uh, Starcade and War, and War Games, but there's really not any bad matches in here. Though there are some that have been mixed with other DVDs. Like the latter match between Three Count, Jamie Nomo, Evan Courageous, and um, the Jung Dragons. Um, Max vs. Championship match between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. And there are a handful of others. And guys, there are a lot of other matches in here that you have not been seen before. And from what I understand, WWE, WWE is going to be doing a, like they did with uh, Nitro, so it's with the Nitro Speed 2 long series, so next year I'll be talking to you about Volume 2. But uh, overall, this was a real enjoyable set. I had to say my favorite match on disc one. The uh, the Star Kid match on December 26, 1988. Road Warriors versus Sting and Dusty Rhodes. And Halloween Havoc, October 28, 1989. United States Championship Lex Luger vs. Flying Brian Pillman. On disc two, I would have to say Super Bowl three, Jushin Liger versus Brian Pillman. And Halloween Havoc, October 24th, 1993, Vader versus Cactus Jack in a Texas death match. In disc three, I had to say um, Falls uh, from Greed, March 18th, 2001. Falls count anywhere. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Scott Steiner vs. DDP. And Bash to Beach on July 9th, 2000. World Heavyweight Championship, Jeff Jarrett vs. Booker T. Ironically, though, that's like the only Booker T match in here. So I don't know. I'm hoping they'll put more Booker T matches in the next volume. Overall, what I have to say about this, so this was an enjoyable compilation. I really liked it, but I didn't like it as much as, say, like the Ultimate Warrior Collection. I feel they under they didn't use Booker T as much as they should have. I really would like to see them do more with Booker T. But overall, the matches were good. Booker T did a decent job for his special. I mean, they didn't even give him a location. They just had him film in front of the uh, in front of, in front of Raw before they went on the air. So, yeah, not really putting a lot of thought into that. You know, or at least with DDP, they gave him the old uh, the piece of the old Nitro set. You know. So I feel like Booker T is really underutilizing this. I, I think they could have done a lot more with him. But overall, the matches were good. Booker T was really good when he was on there. So I'm gonna give this probably about a seven out, a seven point five out of ten. Not great. Could have been better. Would have liked to see a lot more matches that weren't already on DVDs, honestly. But the matches we got were good, high quality ones. So I'm not gonna complain too much. Like I said, seven point five out of ten. Not the uh, one you will. I really don't see anyone need this unless like me trying to collect all the WCW ones. And yes, go ahead and pick it up. But probably wait till the end of this year because it'll be cheaper. Uh, like next year it should be cheaper, but I really enjoyed this. Don't regret the money I paid for it. It was really enjoyable. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10. It's, it's the American Samurai saying. Until next time. Sayonara.